Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's 30 minute low impact body weight cardio workout. Okay, let's get ourselves warmed up here. So we're just passing one leg behind the other here and getting the arms involved just to counterbalance the body. Now today we are going to do a triplet workout. Now we haven't done a triplet workout in a long time. Now because there's a little bit more repetition in the triplet workout because we're doing three sets of three exercises um, I'm just going to keep the exercises very basic and I'm keeping it body weight today but if you want to you can add a light pair of dumbbells to this workout it would work perfectly well. Okay so 15.45 is our time to work today 15 to rest 45 to do the work if you find that rest time's too long you can just slice off five seconds and uh, work for 50 seconds okay let's bring these legs a little bit wider here that's it good now add an upright row well done good keep the heel up there behind you now don't force the heel into the floor just watch your achilles heel that's it drive those elbows up and I'm just bringing the arms in now a little bit more to increase that heart rate good get the body nice and toasty before we start and you can let me know in the comments what you think of the triplets I I, I do like the, the couplet workouts I think they're nice the triplets I don't know if you like the no repeats you might find it a little bit repetitive but uh, anyway it's nice to mix up the workouts Good, let's do four more, and three, two, and one. Okay, march in this, out on the spot for me. Bring those knees up a little bit higher. That's it, good work. Keep your body moving. Well done. Now let's heel tap out in front, heel tap. Good, and bring those arms out is lift and lift lift and lift the good thing about doing a couple or triplet workouts is if you can't get the moves down in round one I guarantee you, you'll definitely have them down by round three so there's pros and cons to everything that's it and I like mixing up the formats it keeps it interesting for our bodies our muscles and of course our mind which is so important because if your mind is bored you may not want to work out, come back and work out. So it's, it's good to keep it interesting because it's hard enough trying to fit in our fitness routines. But if we find them fun, we're more, most likely definitely going to do them. Good. Out in front here now, if that's too much for you in the warm up. It's a lovely stretch for the trunk. Good work. Got four to go. Three, two, and one let's do some little mini thrusters waking up the knees there at the front warming up the glutes quads good you can go a little deeper now if you don't mind send the tailbone down to the floor great reach up and reach let's do two more last one now like like you to do a little stationary walk i always like to get these ankles and calves warmed up before we start I'm going to show you the first move and when we get going okay now I don't have a water break included today but you can always pause the video maybe at the end of set two have a little sip drink of water and come back and finish out set three okay now you keep going there with your little um, ankle movements and we're going to start off with a low jumping jack bicep curls now this would be perfect with weights if you want to add weights okay all right we get going okay 15 seconds to get into position or as always you can start straight away if you want to keep marching if you want a little bit of extra rest time march throughout the workout during the 15 seconds if you need it just to keep the heart rate elevated let's go now step out get these legs down first and bicep curl good now you can start off with a slow pace you can increase the pace as the workout goes on now I want you to tuck your elbows in here for me and bring your fists or your dumbbells if you're using them up towards your shoulders good step and step well done 
chest is up nice and high for me, not sinking into the moves. So I was going to say bend your knees, just to get a bit more quad work. Keep your back straight. Good. Now next, we're going to walk across the room with a shoulder press. I'll show it to you now as soon as the beeper goes. Another good one with a pair of dumbbells. Okay, walking across the room, shoulder press. That's it. You can maybe, maybe take it into a step touch if you prefer. I think sometimes that flows better. I'll stay with it. Join me when you're ready. There you go. Good. Cross we go. Punch out that ceiling for me. Come on, let's hear some nice big breaths there. Well done. You can bring the elbows right down to the hips if you want to increase the range of movement there. Good. Getting that heart rate up with these arms above the head. Little arms down low if you're tiring. That's it. Good. That's it. Punch out the ceiling. Come on, let's get some nice strong shoulders here. Good. A few seconds to go. We've got some skaters now. I'm going to reach down towards the floor. You don't have to touch the floor. Okay. Oh, rest out those arms. Okay, so low impact skaters. Just reach down towards the floor. Okay, I'm just going to stay with it. You can take your rest if you want to. Or join in if you don't feel like you need all that rest. I just gave you that extra time today because it's a triplet. Good. Well done. And drive and drive. Try and keep the chest upright here. It's just a bend of the knee, a deep bend of the knee. That brings your body down towards the floor rather than rounding your shoulders. Think about nice good posture here. That's it. Well done. Now, believe it or not, we are back to the first move. So it does go by quickly. That's your low jack or side steps, bicep curls. All right, march it out here or get going if you want to. So that's a side step move, bicep curl. How did you get on round one? That was good, went fast. Okay, one, two, good. Now curl it, curl it, tucking the elbows in now because you really get great benefit from bicep curling by, with the elbows tucked into your waist. That's it, now contract, contract. We work those inner and outer thighs while we work our biceps. That's it, go a little bit faster if you want to increase your heart rate. Good, slow it down if you feel it's coming up too high. Just slow down your moves a little bit. You can always rest your hands on your hips if you feel like you need a little heart rate break. <laughs> if it's coming too high. Well done, walking across the room, shoulder press. Now that's going to put the heart rate up for you, no doubt about it. All right, walk across. I actually found like the step touch across the room worked, it flowed a little bit better. So if you want to try that again, there we go. Punch out the ceiling. Good. Watch your, your footing there, don't trip. Good. Drive those arms up, reach up, reach up. Lots of stepping moves today. So if you like to record your steps, you'll definitely get a good few in here with our triplet. Reach up and reach. Drive those hands up to the ceiling. Good. We've got those skaters with reaching down towards the floor to finish out round two of set one. Then we move on to set two. Three different exercises. Good work. Well done. Now, if you've just forgotten, I'll show you again. Skaters down. And again, remembering good posture here. I'm just going to stick with it now. Energy starting to flow a little bit now. Good. And right, you can add that little bounce or a little ballistic move there in the middle. If you just want to step it, that's perfect as well. Good. Come on, drive those hands or those fists down towards the floor. Keep your tummy muscles engaged here. It'll help you keep your posture good. Well done. Getting a little bit out of breath. 
take in some air breathe it out that's it good keep the heel up now don't try and force it into the floor that's it nearly there now we'll go back to exercise one again which are those side steps so this will be the last round good last round coming up and then we move on to our new set so side stepping if you want to start get ready now to work those biceps okay tucking in the elbows again curling up the fists or your dumbbells towards your shoulders that's it side step that's good you can move up the spot here if you like as well forward and back if you find that a little bit confusing just stay on the spot that's it good if you have the space it's nice to use it up good and lift and lower well done keep the body moving good few seconds to go and we move on to walk across the room and shoulder press that's it well done okay move yourselves over to the side march it out if you're taking some rest get ready to go if your arms are tired you can leave them out just keep those legs moving that's it over we go and over we go good now I'm going to punch out the ceiling feeling energized now good big range of movement as well you can feel the latissimus dorsi working the big swimmers muscle there in our mid to lower back great that gives us that nice V shape to our back that defined V that's it lift up and over we go and over now because we're moving swiftly across the room from lifting arms above the head it's going to get you out of breath you're going to feel your heart rate coming up there that's good working those heart and lungs skaters skaters next now so again if you want to go okay I'll take a little marching break good this is our last time doing this this move as well okay down we go go nice and slowly if you need to no need to try and uh, speed it up if you feel like you need to slow it down that's it good punch out the floor come on let's see some nice strong punches to finish out this one today now I don't have a rest built into today's workout but if you really need it pause the video and come back for set two that's it good now we're doing leg curls for the first exercises two leg curls two punches in the middle and two leg curls with the other leg so you're alternating the leg curls there you go let me show you quickly so we're going to start now any moment so two leg curls two punches in the middle and two leg curls other side okay nice uh, dynamic move coming next get those hamstrings worked one two punch one two other leg one two good punch that's it one two punch punch one two punch punch one two punch punch good one two good drive drive one two come on give me nice and strong punches there in the middle good one two one two two hamstrings one two two curls that's it drive drive keep breathing come on you can do it nearly there well done excellent work okay now have another double move double knee repeater push out and other leg so we're just pushing out okay pushing away getting the chest muscles worked let's go for that one two good one two again changing swiftly good for the ankles getting the ankles nice and strong here good push push you're feeling your muscles between your shoulder blades working there your trapezius your rhomboids as you work your chest 
drive the elbows back and you'll feel those posture muscles working good well done got some step backs coming next with some back flies some more back work getting lots of back work with set two today that's it one two good okay we're feeling the arms now all right step it back keep the heel up you notice my heels not being forced into the ground back flies now again another great one with a pair of weights now come on and join me if you're ready step it back step step now really feel the muscles there between your shoulder blades working this is a, a classic exercise to work your back your back flies good step it back again you can speed it up if you want to but if you're feeling a little bit fatigued now and a little bit out of breath because there's a lot of volume with the triplet workouts slow it down take your time good now if you're feeling quite exhausted you've decided to lift weights maybe try the next round body weight you can mix it up good we're back to those leg curls now are you ready round two okay take a break if you need it two leg curls two punches two leg curls well done okay this will bring us up to 15 minutes all right let's get going okay one two punch punch one two punch punch good work and drive for two punch punch one two well done good try for two kick kick come on let's see some strong punches out there in front one two that's it one two kick and kick one two feeling those hamstrings now getting nice and warm two punch punch one and two one two double knee repeater next both sides okay so two on each leg go for it if you want to well done <clears throat> okay let's get ready just turn your body slightly here so you're ready for that range of movement one two other side one two i'd say find that balance good one two well done one two good now the swift change there can really can help can affect your balance a little bit so slow down if you feel like you're tipping over so take your time some of these moves will bring your heart rate up quicker than others that's it working the back again and we have those back flies coming for the last move of round two and then we we'll finish with round three and that'll be that set done good well done okay we've got our step back back flies finishing out round two of set two okay are you ready to work those back muscles again i'm always ready to work those back muscles step back now watch your heels not slamming into the ground keep it up right let's go well done come on let's have some fun with it we're doing a great job for our bodies here keeping our mental health now nice and healthy as well as our bodies our hearts and lungs and our body in general that's it good squeeze squeeze come on don't fly the arms up and down let's get some muscle action squeeze good keep going back to your leg curls doesn't it come around so quickly good well done good work good work right now you know your leg curl for two punch for two other leg take a little step touch break if you need to or march on the spot that's fine Ooh, and catch your breath no harm here at all one two one two drive drive good one two come on punch up if you want to just to mix it up a little bit that's fine one two good how strong are those punches you can punch out like this one two cross the body punches 
oops, <laughs> getting all confused now. One, two, and one, and two, punch, punch. One, and two, punch, punch. Good, full body moves here. Great, working that body, lots of different directions. Okay, ready for your double knee repeater. All right, go if you want to. Good work, let's go. I think I did a chest press first time. I think I'll stick to the back work. Okay, knee repeat, get the knee first. There we go. You can do a chest press if you want, pushing the arms out, or you can do back rows. Yeah, really felt the back working hard. It's uh, around two because I did this back rowing here and then the back flies, the last one. Come on, drive that knee up to your belly button. Work your abdominals here. This is a great tummy exercise. You can bring your chest down slightly, your rib cage down slightly towards that leg driving in. That's great, it really works the tummy muscles. A few seconds to go. And we're gonna finish out this set here with our back flies and then we move on to set three. It's a very fast workout, it feels really fast. Okay, you ready to step back, keep that heel up for me? All right, let's go. Up, abs engage now. You should feel a little bit of tension down around that belly button area. Good. It's particularly when you're kind of just ever so slightly leaning forward. That's it, come on, work those shoulders. And work those back muscles. Good, you might get a little bit into the back of the shoulder here with the back fly. Good. Being quite upright, you may, you may or may not hit it. I think you might have to go down a little lower to hit those back muscles, sorry, those shoulder muscles, the back of the shoulder. Posterior delts, but you'll definitely get those posture muscles if you squeeze. Good, well done. Okay, now we're on to set three, so I'll quickly show you. Step over, touch your knees, reach up. Step over, touch your knees, reach up, okay? So a lovely, lovely side to side move here. Again, very dynamic, fun and uplifting. Getting our happy hormones pumping out. Now again, if you need another break, it's fine. Just have little breaks between each set. Take 60 seconds, come back. Just pause the video. Finish it out with me, you'll be so happy you did. Good, reach up. And again, we're working the inner and outer thighs here. Just stepping across quads when we sit down and reach up. Quads and glutes, the deeper you go, more quads and glutes we let engage. Reach up, good. Now we have a knee raise and front raise next. All the raises coming, exercise two, set three. Knee raise, I'll show you here in case you wanna go with it. Front raise. Another lovely one with weights. This is really, I must do this workout again. And add some dumbbells. Good. Lift and lift. Well done. Don't lean back now. I want to see now some nice straight backs here. Try not to do that, okay? If you're feeling strain in your back, check your posture in the mirror. That's it, good. Put your belly button in, it really does help to um, send that signal to the brain to keep your back straight. Good, it keeps you aware of what's going on. Lift, lift, come on, have some fun with it. Well done, I hope you're having fun today and you're liking the workouts and if you are, if you hit that thumbs up button, it would be great. It really gives me feedback on that you're liking the videos. Good work, <coughs> excuse me. Now, side leg raise for the next one. Okay, pec deck. Really hitting that upper and lower part today. If you really feel like you're tired now, I want you to have your 15 second rest. But if, you're, if you've been here a while with me, you're used to the moves, you may not need it. That's it, good. Slow it down here, take your time. Just recover a little bit. You can recover while you work out, active recovery. Well done. 
Now we're going to go back to the step over, touch the knees and reach up. That's it, good. Squeeze. Again, working those back muscles as the elbows push back, working the chest as they come across your, your body there, your chest area. Ooh, feeling those hips, feeling heavy now. Okay, march it out if we're taking a little rest. Keep the heart rate elevated a little bit. Because I know the fitter you get, the quicker that drops. Over we go. Touch your knees, reach up, okay? Let's go. Over, touch, reach. Now again, the deeper you go with your little chair, your little seat, the more muscles you'll recruit, particularly those quads. Reach up, good. And reaches is a nice, fun move. I also like these moves where you kind of move around because they create air and it keeps you cool. I'm getting really hot now. Good. Sit down and reach. That's it. Drop that tailbone towards the floor and push up to the ceiling. Good. And reach. That's it. We're back to those knee raise, front raise. Boy, do they come around quickly. Well done, okay. Knee raise, front raise. Go for it if you want to. That's it. Take in that air, come on. Get that oxygen flowing around the body while you have a chance. Good, okay, let's go. Knee, knee, knee. Well done. You can move around the room. Front raise, lift up. Now I'm not just swinging my arms up willy nilly here. I'm actually contracting my shoulders. I know it's hard to see, but I'm actually bringing some, a little bit of force into the shoulder and making it do a little bit of work, even body weight. Good. Lift, lift. Work your tummy here. As that knee drives forward, he can just gently do a little C curve there and do a little tummy crunch upright. That's it, good, come on. Lift up. Have fun with your workouts. Good work, okay. My goodness, exercise three, round two already. Okay, so side leg raise, sorry I'm forgetting to tell you, or your pendulum, don't lean too far to the side. Pec deck, good. Again, working those little muscles on the outside of the leg there, the glutes that extend around to form the hips. Well done, good, and up, good work. Now if you're ever out walking and you see anybody, say in front of you, and you see the hips are sort of rotating a lot or literally moving, the hips should stay still when you're walking, that's a sign that their glute medius minimus are weak and they're not supporting the skeleton as it moves. So that's why I like to include the pendulum quite a lot to get in these, these uh, little muscles that are forgotten. Right, we're back to the last round of step over. Touch the knees, reach up. Okay, you're ready for this. Round three. That's it, it went in pretty quickly. I found it quite enjoyable. Sometimes if I do triplets, I find they can be very, little bit intense. But not today. I found this now was very doable. Good. And I, I did pick very basic exercises on purpose. Reach up. And I did say body weight again because it was triplet. But I know some of you are so fit out there, it's no bother to you. Good. Sit down and reach. Well done. You can make your step a little bigger if you want to now that you're, you've done it twice before. You're probably very stretchy now. Reach up, good, and reach up, okay, well done. Now we've got those knee raises coming next. Are you ready for them? This is a lovely fun move, I really love this one. Two moves left, can you believe you've made it here? Wow, that is great. Should be feeling good now and on top of the world. Knee raise, good. Add a little bounce if you want, if you don't want to, just leave it at basic stepping. Okay, let's get some arms. Lift and lift. Good. Lift, lift. Well done. Feeling good now. All those happy hormones are bouncing around. That's it. Good. The sun is shining. What more could you ask for? 
well done lift and lift nice cup of green tea actually will go down well now I actually I, I love a cup of tea particularly in the winter I'm not really a big tea drinker but I do just green tea no sugars don't ever never ever taken sugar in my tea ever and it's a good thing that is a good thing we've got those pendulums or side leg lifts because the amount of sugar you take in in just one week if you take one to two teaspoons of sugar in a cup of tea or, or coffee even let's get the pec deck going it's amazing how quickly that sugar adds up over a year and I've often heard people losing weight just by not taking sugar in their tea that's incredible I think as well though you also associate tea with eating um, say maybe cookies biscuits things like that so if you find that is happening you just try and cut out the tea as well as that it's high in caffeine so it's not good for anyone women going through menopause as well that it's not good for us at all good open and close squeezing out we're already getting going through enough with the hot flashes or flushes without adding the hot drinks to it and the caffeine seems to make it worse and there you go you made it through big thumbs up to you you did a triplet if that's your first time doing a triplet, you can let me know how you got on in the comment box below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Excuse me. Doesn't want to switch off today. So like I was saying, I'd love to hear your feedback on the different formats of um, each, each uh, video that I put out there. And uh, thank you so much for all the comments you do send me. I just love reading and hearing how you're getting on. It's wonderful. It's great feedback for me. It makes me feel like... Yeah, I'm doing, I'm, doing, I'm doing an okay job. <laughs> now I'm going to link up my cool downs for you. Find them in the description box below the video here. Just spend about 10, 15 minutes stretching out your body. You'll come back here and you'll find your workouts are so doable. And it might take a couple of weeks, it might take a couple of months, but you will see results with consistency. Don't forget to hydrate, drink your water. It's so important. Keep those muscles hydrated to allow for recovery and I will see you back here really soon. Have a lovely day.